Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about how to use Mongo Engine save the image file into MongoDB directly. Mongo Engine based on PyMongo. PyMongo has an API for GridFS. What is GridFS? GridFS is a specification for storing and retrieving big data, big files. Um, so usage of Mongo Engine with GridFS is really simple. Just a several lines codes, then everything is done for you. It also detects the file type for you and uh, saves the file name and uh, everything. So let's start. Now uh, let's open the Jupyter Notebook. So um, suppose you have a list of user and you want to save a profile image for each user. From the logic, we need to basically do the following steps. So first, create a connection to the MongoDB and connect it to a database in the MongoDB. The second step, we need to create a user class, which contains a username and a user image field. That's somehow like a um, table in relational database, but in MongoDB, we call it collection. The next is um, you need to create a user object and uh, upload the image and save it. So um, upload image and save. The last task is retrieve the image. Let's now uh, do it step for step. So first, create a connection and a connect to database. So um, we need a Mongo engine import connect. So it's just a name to connect. Then connect db is equal for example, ananas host. Don't forget, you need a um, string format. This is your MongoDB host uh, UI, uh, IP address and the port. The port is 27017 it is default port if you change it don't forget to change it also then rent see it uh, connected then you need to create a user class it's actually create a table class um, user so here we need to take care we need a document. So this document class is also in Mongo engine. We need to uh, import the document class. Uh, so here. Then you need the meta. So here we need the field from the Mongo engine. This contains all the type of the um, field. So win it. 
profile image see it I use the image field save layer that is equal to false so um this line code say I want to save my um, user table in the collection called my users if you um, this line code is also optional if you um, don't write it then it means it saves the user um, class automatically in the user collection I here I want to specify a name for the collection then the username I use a string field and the required is true then it means it you uh, the field must be filled it cannot be empty of course you can also set the size of the field but here for simplicity I um, will ignore it the next is a profile image the profile image I use the image field of course you can also use the file image but file, uh, file field but uh, use of image field you have um, a lot of advantage um, it will automatically detect the uh, image attributes for you and it can also create a thumbnails for you for example here I created a thumbnail size as 150 154 it means the weight uh, the width height is 150 and 150 force means it should I force the size of the image default is true and I here set it as a force so um, let's run it after you create the user class you can write a you can create a user For example, I call the user Connie. And Connie, the username is equal to Connie. Here, you have to give the username. So, you profile image you don't need to give. Because um, username is required and the profile image is not required however you can still give it um, I will open the image now my image is equal to forward static image cat so I open the image which under the folder static image cat dot jpg and i open it as read and read binary then connie profile image replace my image file name e file name equal to connie dot piggy so uh Take care, here is a function replace. You can also use some uh, put. You can also use a put. But here I would like to uh, use replace. The reason is put, you can only save it one time, and replace, you can save it at any time, regarding here is the image already or not. The reason I use replace is um, user will often change his image his profile image so use replace is more uh, reasonable 
most easy. So after that, I can save the image. Connie, save. Yeah, the image is saved. So now let's look at the database. I use the Robot 3T to read my um, MongoDB database. Refresh it. So you see here, an Ananas database is created. And in the Ananas database, there is a collection. In the collections, there is a, um, one collection called My Users. Here is the My Users. I give the name here. And the other are images chunks and images files. Click the My Users. You will see um, here are three columns. So one is ID. This is randomly given by MongoDB. This part is BSON format. And this part is the username. And here is the image. And the image is actually an image ID. It's BSON. It's linked to another two um, collections. One is called the trunks. The mainly recorded is the name, uh, the, um, the IDs of the uh, trunks. Then we go to the image files. We will say, oh, it find the, it detect automatically the size and the height for your image. And also format chunk size, length, upload data, um, thumbnail ID, and the file name, or the here. The file name is called GY, is here. Of course, you don't need to give the uh, file name. If you don't give the name, then this column will not, disappear, will not appear here. OK, now the next. The last step is retrieve the image. How to how to watch the image? We can, um, for example, user equal to user objects username name is equal to for me. So first. So this means I create a user, and the user, um, I find all the user name Connie from the uh, user class, from the user uh, collection. It's actually the my users collection, and uh, take the first one. Then, if I want to read it, I need this So if you want to read the image, you can just use user profile image But this will, won't, will show you a binary data format So what, do you, what can you do? You can, if you use um, Jupyter Notebook you can do the following things from i Python display import image. So this will help you to show the image in uh, in Jupyter Notebook. So let's do that. Yeah, this should work. See, you get the cat image. Um, of course, you can also see the thumbnail. Nail. So you will get a small image. Maybe um, you want also 
replace the image. It is also very easy. Um, for example, uh, replace the image. So um, you can use uh, user. Uh, you need it at first open the image. My image is equal to open. Step pick image cat uh, image cat cat two jpg. Then the user uh, profile image dot replace my image. That's all. The user save. Now let's retrieve the image again. Um, image view profile image from the mail mail. Oh, is something wrong? See, I changed the image. If you without this one, you will get the original image. Okay, so that's all. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.